Google just made a shocking announcement. Gemini is no longer just an AI model for text and images. It's now powering humanoid robots. DeepMind, Google's AI division, just revealed two groundbreaking Gemini-based models designed to accelerate the next generation of AI-powered humanoids. These models could redefine how robots learn, adapt, and work in our everyday lives. From preparing meals in homes to assembling cars in factories, humanoid robots are about to get a major intelligence boost. And with Google's deep expertise in AI, they're making a bold move to shape the future of robotics. Gemini Robotics is interactive. And you put the bananas in the clear container. Notice how we move the objects and the model reacts and replans on the fly. And you put the grapes in the clear container. Our model's low latency means it can respond live to rapidly changing conditions and instructions. This same model can generalize to all kinds of applications where you can collaborate with the robot live. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another shocking AI announcement. Google Gemini is now a humanoid robot, and you can count on AI Nexus to bring you every detail as it unfolds. Let's go. DeepMind is working with some of the biggest names in robotics to integrate its Gemini-based models into actual humanoid robots. Texas-based Aptronic is using it to enhance Apollo, its general-purpose humanoid robot. Agility Robotics, known for its bipedal robot Digit, is tapping into Google's AI models to make Digit even smarter. Boston Dynamics, famous for its robotic innovations, is also on board as is the French startup Enchanted Tools, which plans to mass-produce 100,000 humanoids over the next decade. So what makes Gemini Robotics so special? Unlike traditional AI models that require extensive training for every new task, Google says its AI helps robots learn with minimal training. That means humanoids powered by this A, I could quickly adapt to new environments without weeks or months of programming. Gemini Robotics is built on a Vision Language Action VLA model, meaning it integrates reasoning, spatial awareness, and dexterous control. That allows robots to understand real-world tasks like folding laundry, organizing objects, or even preparing a meal with precise fine motor skills. Google claims the model enables zero-shot and few-shot learning. This means robots don't need thousands of examples to learn a task. Instead, they can figure things out with as few as 100 demonstrations, significantly speeding up their learning process. But there's something even bigger at play here. Unlike many AI models that struggle with real-world applications, Gemini Robotics is designed for physical AI. It emphasizes three key abilities, generality, interactivity, and dexterity. Generality means the AI isn't limited to one task. It can handle multiple functions, from assembling products in a factory to assisting with household chores. Interactivity means the AI understands conversational commands. You won't need to program it like a traditional machine. Instead, you could simply say, help me clean the table, and the robot would understand and execute the task. Dexterity is what separates a truly capable humanoid from a stiff, clumsy machine. Google says Gemini Robotics can handle long-horizon tasks requiring intricate movements, like playing card games, folding origami, or cooking. If something changes, like a person moving an object, the AI can adjust instantly without needing additional input. This is a massive step toward making humanoid robots more practical and versatile in everyday life. Imagine a robot that can help with dinner, organize your home, or assist at work without requiring constant supervision or reprogramming. And for industrial applications, this is a game changer. Robots powered by Gemini's AI could adapt to different platforms, from collaborative robots working alongside humans to fully autonomous humanoids operating in warehouses and factories. Now, one of the biggest concerns about AI-powered robots is safety. Nobody wants a scenario where robots start making decisions that could be dangerous to humans. Google is addressing this by incorporating an AI safety system called ASIMOV. If that name sounds familiar, it's because it's a nod to Isaac Asimov, the famous science fiction writer who introduced the three laws of robotics in his book, I, Robot. These laws are designed to prevent robots from harming humans and have influenced decades of discussions on AI ethics. The three laws are simple. 
1. A robot may not harm a human or allow a human to come to harm. 2. A robot must follow human orders unless they conflict with the first law. 3. A robot must protect itself as long as it doesn't violate the first two laws. In Google's AI model, Asimov functions as a guardrail, preventing robots from executing harmful actions. For example, if someone tried to trick the AI into pouring boiling water unsafely, Asimov would detect the risk and reject the action. Google also claims that the AI has been trained against manipulation to prevent bad actors from hacking or misleading it into unsafe behaviors. This is crucial because recent studies have shown how easily some AI-driven robots can be tricked into performing unintended actions. In one alarming case, researchers at Penn Engineering manipulated a GPT-4 powered robotic dog into unsafe behaviors. Google is aware of these risks and is implementing safeguards to ensure its humanoid robots don't fall into the same traps. Another key feature of Gemini Robotics is its cloud-based AI brain, which allows for real-time, low-latency control. The second model, called Gemini Robotics ER, specializes in tasks requiring spatial comprehension, like identifying and interacting with three-dimensional objects. But while Google is pushing forward, they aren't the only ones racing to dominate AI-driven robotics. Competition in the humanoid space is heating up like never before. Figure AI, a Silicon Valley startup, recently announced its Helix AI model for humanoid control. After cutting ties with OpenAI, Figure is going all in on developing its own end-to-end -end AI model. The company is so confident in its approach that it plans to start testing its Figure 2 humanoids in real homes as early as 2025, two years ahead of schedule. Meanwhile, physical intelligence, a relatively new player in the space, has been making waves with its hierarchical AI model, Pi Zero. Unlike traditional AI models that try to do everything at once, Pi Zero breaks tasks down into different levels, allowing robots to perform complex actions more efficiently. The startup is already valued at $2.4 billion, and its model is designed to handle a wide range of real-world tasks, from folding clothes to assembling boxes. With so many companies competing to build the ultimate humanoid, it's clear that AI-powered robots aren't just science fiction anymore. They're coming, fast. Aptronics Apollo, which is now working with Google DeepMind, is already being tested in factories and warehouses. The company plans to move into household applications after Apollo proves its reliability in industrial settings. Agility Robotics is scaling up production of its digit humanoid, which is designed to assist with logistics and warehouse work. Boston Dynamics is taking its humanoid atlas in a new direction, focusing on industrial applications. And let's not forget Tesla, which is pushing hard to commercialize its Optimus humanoid. Elon Musk has repeatedly stated that Tesla plans to deploy Optimus in its own factories before making it available to the public. The race to create the most advanced humanoid robot is officially on, and Google's Gemini robotics models are a major piece of this puzzle. So, what does all of this mean for the future? AI-powered humanoids could soon be working alongside humans in homes, factories, offices, and even healthcare settings. Imagine a future where robots handle repetitive tasks so humans can focus on more creative, complex work. But it also raises some big questions. How will AI impact jobs? Will people be comfortable having humanoid robots in their homes? And how do we ensure these robots remain safe and ethical as they become more advanced? One thing is certain. Humanoid robots powered by AI are no longer just experimental prototypes. They are rapidly approaching commercial viability. And with Google stepping in to accelerate the industry, we could see mass adoption much sooner than expected. This is a turning point in robotics and AI. The fusion of Gemini's intelligence with real-world robots means that machines are becoming more capable more adaptable, and more integrated into human life. Whether you see this as an exciting breakthrough or a sign of a rapidly changing world, one thing is clear. AI-powered humanoids are here to stay, and Google just made its boldest move yet to lead the charge. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.